Last region in the Northwest Territories has been declared the first Indigenous protected area in Canada. It's about 14,000 square kilometres of territory with boreal forests and wetlands. That means it will now be permanently off limits to resource development. Environment and Climate Change Minister Catherine McKenna signed that agreement with the Daycho First Nations today. And she joins us now. Thanks for joining us, Minister. It's a great day. Great to be here. This is a first. First, what on what scale, if you can explain it to me? Uh, so this is the first Indigenous protected area under our new nature plan. So in the budget, uh, we announced a $1 billion nature fund that we would be working with uh, Indigenous peoples, First Nations, Métis, Inuit peoples, um, but also anyone across Canada, um, donors, uh, foundations, to protect more of Canada's nature. We've committed uh, to protect 17% of our nature. And so today, this was a really great announcement, first Indigenous protected area with the with the day show, um, it is about twice the size of Banff, so very, very big. Uh, a really important area uh, for caribou, uh, for buffalo, uh, for birds, uh, migratory birds. Um, it just It's a wonderful announcement, and it just shows all the amazing things you can do when you decide that you're going to reimagine relationships and actually work really hard together. Obviously, there are a number of different spot on, spots I'm sure you're considering. Why did this one stand out? Why did you decide to make this one the first? Well, you know what? This has uh, been in the works for 20 years um, in fits and starts. Uh, unfortunately, it was uh, stalled under the previous government. Uh, and the Day Show First Nation, they were very committed to this. They had worked really hard, elders, uh, chiefs, and they really wanted this to go ahead. And so they, they worked with us um, to see if it was possible. And we were certainly committed to this. And you know, it was just great. I was there two years ago. It is absolutely stunning. Um, it's a place I wish all Canadians could see. And when we look at uh, and we hear about climate change and the extreme weather that we're seeing across the country and across the world, we know that nature and protecting nature has to be part of how we tackle climate change. So this is just a really important first step, but we have a lot of other opportunities. A lot of other communities are really keen. And I think this is a model not just for the Northwest Territories, not just for Canada, but for the world, about how you can work, go forward in true partnership. Uh, this is what reconciliation looks like in action. Um, and also do something really important, which is protecting more of our land, more of our water, more of our animals. How will the land actually be managed? So what's also really exciting is it's going to be co-managed with the, with the day show. Uh, there's a management board that's being set up, um, and the day show uh, First Nations with uh, day show Indigenous guardians. So these are uh, guardians that are on the land working with, uh, with day show youth, uh, as well as the Canadian Wilderness Service. So I have to give a big shout out to folks that work at our Canadian Wilderness Service who really worked hard on this. They'll look at how they manage it going forward. Got it. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your time tonight. Great. Great day. Thanks. Have a good night.